What's up everybody? Welcome back to One More Guitar. Thank you for watching. So today I got another guitar. Shocker, I know. Um, this is the Jerry James Nichols Signature Guitar. First I want to talk about how this box arrived at my house. Um, I got a shipping notice that says it was going to be about two days and then it got pushed out to about five days and then I didn't get any info and today I opened my door and uh, this is how I found the guitar sitting outside. Not exactly how you want to see your new guitar sitting on your porch. Obviously somebody can't read Italian. Um, is this Sweetwater's fault? Is it FedEx's fault? Is my guitar okay? Did somebody steal my candy? All this and more in this episode. So let's take a look at this box. This is how it was sitting there, completely open. Um, you know, I usually get stuff from Guitar Center. This is the first guitar I've gotten from Sweetwater in several years, and, uh, well, I'm not really impressed with this box. So let's check it out and see what condition this is in. And you can see here that this is just going to fall right out. Um, let's take a look in here. You see how the box is over the edge there? I don't know if it got out of whack down there or off of the other styrofoam. It looks like this box came out of place and they couldn't figure out how to put it back in this outer box. So hopefully everything's okay. All right, maybe you can see this, maybe not, but there's two foam pads in there. One all the way at the bottom and then one, um, you know, sideways in there. And that's probably why the box wouldn't close. So I don't see a lot of extra tape out here. I'm not sure how this guitar was shipped in the first place. I mean, it's almost like they shipped it with the box open. But surely that can't be the case. But uh, anyway, the good news is the guitar and the candy are in here. Mm, got a bit of honey, some Smarties, Fireball, nice. So if you're not familiar with Sweetwater, um, they do an inspection of the guitar, so that's why it's open. So I'm curious if that's also why it wasn't repacked correctly. Let's see if the guitar is okay. And of course I opened it upside down. Let's see if I can do this without knocking off the guitar. Sweet. Case is a little dirty from the box, but other than that, it looks pretty sharp. That's pretty nice for what they're considering a gig bag. Come a long way, haven't they? Got hard sides there, that's nice. Let's see what we get in the bag here. Alright, we got our typical stuff. Got the Epiphone guarantee card and the Epiphone uh, sticker. Got your Grover hang tag there. Got an Allen wrench. Good look at the case here. All right, let's open this thing up. All right, are you ready? We can take a look at this together. Wow, that is sharp. Goodness, look how high up that bridge is. I wonder if that's the same bridge that's on the uh, Les Paul Special. I'll have to check that out later. Two knobs here, feel good single dog ear P90 to see more Duncan pickup. Okay, what do we got here? Looks like uh, Brian G inspected this guitar from Sweetwater. Sweet. Thank you, Brian. Something's wrong, I know who I'm calling. All right. Wow. Let's 
pull this out of the case. So strange to not see a switch up there or you know a pickup. Wow. I think the inlays look really good. Fretboard looks a little dry, but it's pretty nice. What that spot is right there. Let's see that. Check that out. Also, when Sweetwater sent me the picture, I saw something weird in the finish up here. You see that? But yeah, the finish is covering up the binding a little bit, or just looks a little bit off right there. It's not bad. Doesn't bother me. But, you know. Not the best there. Let's check out the back. All right, you see another spot right there. The finish just doesn't look right. There you go, that's a good picture of it. So, little finish things, not a big deal really. You know, I've read other reviews of this guitar and I've heard that story several times where people say there's issues with the finish and I just kind of ignored it but um, maybe there is. Um, also, you can see right there, the carve looks a little strange on the binding there. The double gold looks great in person though. It's got a nice metallic shine to it. it sparkles just a little bit. It's pretty sweet. I love the stinger on the headstock too. And there's Jared James Nichols' signature. It looks like this one was made this year. All right, so let me check it out and give you my first impressions. Um, let's check the fret ends. Wow, that is really smooth. Like, you can't feel them at all. That's pretty impressive. The action, I thought, was going to be much higher based on how high this bridge is setting up, but um, it's actually pretty good. Neck profile. Um, it's very similar to the uh, 59. It might be a little bit flatter, or it might be identical. Nut looks good. Not hanging over the edge or anything. So yeah, like I mentioned, um, there was a couple of things with the finish I saw, but really not a big deal. Um, other than that, guitar looks good, feels good. Let me get it tuned up and we'll see what it sounds like. Man, this guitar's got a nice ring to it. This lightning bridge tailpiece here um, really adds some sustain to the guitar to me. It's kind of the same like I have on that uh, Les Paul Special, and I love that thing now. I didn't like it as much at first, but it really grew on me. Um, and this is kind of feeling similar to me. This guitar's got a great ring to it. Let's give it some juice and see what this pickup sounds like. Alright, so we're wide open here on the bridge pickup, or the only pickup, I should say. And I've just got on the clean channel on the Marshall right now. Let's see what that sounds like. Ah, that pickup sounds good, I can tell you that right now.
All right, let's mess with the tone knob a little bit. So we're wide open right now. Pretty good woman tone there. It'll sound better when we got some uh, more gain on here. So let's see what else we got. Go over to the crunch channel. I can hear and feel the frets uh, being a little scratchy. So those are probably gonna have to be polished up. So um, again, before the next video, I'll clean the fretboard and uh, check out the frets, but they're a little scratchy. See if you can hear this. All right, I can feel that when I'm playing. All right, so let's give it some tone back. channel of the Marshall and uh, let's just check this out. crazy what you can do with one pickup and just messing around with the volume and tone knob. <laughs> So what's my first impression of this guitar? Well, I think the finish looks freaking sweet. Um, I've always wanted a gold top Les Paul, and uh, this is definitely gonna hold me over for a while. So um, I think the guitar looks great. Um, as far as the neck profile goes, it feels really comfortable to me. Um, if you like 50s necks, you'll probably like this. If you don't like 50s necks, you may not like this. Um, but to me, it feels really good. Um, like I mentioned earlier, the fret ends are almost flawless on this. I'll do the tissue test when I do the full review, but uh, this feels fantastic. Um, the guitar is really resonant. You can really feel the vibration in the body. Um, I love that. And this pickup sounds great. Um, there is a lot you can do with these two knobs to dial in different tones on this pickup. Um, I'll say that it's almost overwhelming how much you have to control it with this in your fingers. Um, it's pretty tough and after watching all of the videos with Jared James Nichols playing this, um, you know, I feel a little inadequate on it honestly because that guy can tear it up and there's a lot that you can do with one pickup um, or that he can do with one pickup 
that is super impressive. And um, so I'm going to play around with this and hopefully learn a little more and uh, maybe get a little better at this. Um, I like the way it sounds a lot. I think it's a very high quality Epiphone. The only thing I'll mention again that I can complain about is some very small issues with the finish. You know, in a couple of places you can tell that it doesn't meet the binding that well. But, you know, overall I think it looks great and these things are so small um, you wouldn't be able to tell from far away. Just small little cosmetic things. Alright, that's it for today. I appreciate y'all watching. Please remember to take a second to hit the like button if you like the video and hit subscribe if you're new to the channel. And let me know in the comments what you think about this guitar. Until next time, take it easy and keep playing.